Welcome back again to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make turkey stew. If this is the first time I'm coming across my video, please take a moment to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let's go. Tomatoes, scotch bonnet, and some red bell pepper. I'm using more red bell pepper than the tomatoes. Now you want to clean this in salty water and then remove the seed from the bell peppers, blend until it is smooth, and then transfer into a pot so it can continue to cook. While that is cooking, we're going to go ahead and cook our meat. I'm using turkey wings. They've been cut into my desired sizes. You want to clean again with salt and then add into your cooking pot. Now to season this, you can use fresh seasoning like fresh onion, fresh garlic, but I'm using this powdered organic spices. I've gone in with some onion powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, black pepper, chicken seasoning, some all-purpose seasoning. I also added some curry and thyme. Not sure why that clip disappeared but yes, I added some curry and thyme. You want to season this with your everyday spices basically. Stir all to combine and allow this to steam without adding water. You're going to let this go for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, you're going to come back, stir on this really well and then add water. You want the water to be at the same level with the um, whatever protein you're using. Then cover to cook until it is done. At this point, I go check on the pepper mix and you can see it is reduced now but not completely dry. This is the exact time you need to take it off the heat. You don't want it to be dry for this particular recipe I'm sharing with you. Okay, so at this point, I check on the turkey, it is cooked. You want to scoop it out from the stock, sieve the stock, and save it. We will need it later for our stew. For the turkey, you can air fry, bake in the oven, or fry. I'm going to deep fry this because we need that same oil to make our stew. We want the flavor from the turkey to be infused into that oil. So once the turkey is golden brown, scoop it out and set it aside. Now with this same oil, I'm going to transfer into the pot for the stew. And then go in with our pepper mix. Stir well to combine and then cover. Now please, when making your stew, you need good amount of oil to fry your stew. So the stew can actually fry. After cooking, you can now scoop out the excess oil that will float to the top. You'll see all the oil float to the top, so no worries. Now you want to continue to stir this with intervals on medium-low heat so it doesn't burn. Today's hug is for Nkechi Loretta watching from the US. Thank you for loving the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from. You know the stew is ready when it starts to taste sweet, plus the oil is going to become really transparent. So at this point, you're going to go in with the turkey stock, adjust with seasoning if necessary. I went in with a bit more chicken seasoning and some all-purpose seasoning. I'm not using salt because that all-purpose seasoning contains salt, alright? Now you can see all the oil at the top. Scoop it out, save it for the next time you're making another stew. You can also use it for your beans or any recipe that calls for vegetable oil. Add your turkey now and allow this to simmer for at least 5 minutes on medium heat and your stew is ready. This stew was something else, really delicious. I hope you get to try it out. The aroma was nose blinding. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one.